there. My name is Patty Simcoe. I'm a, an acrylic artist uh, hailing from Lockport, Manitoba. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to put a dust cover on the back of your paintings. Um, some people uh, don't like to have them. They think it seals in a certain amount of moisture, but um, I like them. I think it makes the back of a painting appear um, finished. And uh, my paintings are pretty dry by the time they get a dust cover to them. So let's get started today. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some craft paper. I buy these big rolls from uh, Staples. They're quite inexpensive. It's always good to have a bunch of this around anyways, because if you sell a painting, uh, you can wrap it up with your craft paper. We will also need a pair of nice sharp scissors an even sharper X-Acto knife, some good old fashioned white glue, something to spread said white glue, a sharp edge, a damp cloth. This cloth is pretty wet, so you're gonna need a damp cloth. And then you're going to need a hairdryer. But most importantly, I'm going to wipe off my hands here. Most importantly, you're going to need a painting. So here's a painting um, I've done, and I got a little overzealous and I put my hanging material on the back. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my hanging material. And put that aside. Then we're going to get our craft paper out. And lay it down. I'm doing this in uh, where I think a lot of artists um, create in my kitchen. So a lot of the things I'm gonna to use to weigh my paper down are, I don't know, like my coffee. Okay, so we're gonna take this painting and we're gonna put it face down on the craft paper. And one of the things I forgot to mention you're gonna need is a pencil or some kind of marking apparatus. I have some pencils right here. And we are going to just simply trace along the outside of your piece. No exact art to this, pardon the pun. <laughs> and that is all we need to do there. Then we will cut out our square. some space here. Okay, so now we have a piece of paper that is the same size as the back of our painting, back of almost edge to edge. Well, it should be edge to edge if you traced it properly, but uh, this is where you're going to learn that this doesn't have to be like an exact fit. So what we're going to do is next we will take Sorry, the paper is probably very loud for you guys. We're gonna take our white glue 
and all the way around the perimeter. Give it a good healthy bead. Don't be too cheap with the uh, with the white glue. So you can see on the back of my painting, I had a little little uh, issue with a piece of paint um, coming off. Actually, a whole piece of wood came off, but I'm not concerned because I'm going to cover it up and the hardware with a dust cover. So you see, I'm trying to go not quite to the very edge of the painting, but I do want to cover the hardware because nobody wants to see that part of your painting. Okay, so then we take our little brush and very lightly spread it a little bit wider. Don't worry if you gotta go over top of your hardware, it makes no difference. It's all gonna be covered up. And yeah, when we put the paper on, it is going to be a little bit lumpier where the hardware is. That's just, you know, par for the course. But anyways, I don't want to make it look like I'm fussing with this too much because I don't want you to fuss with it too much. The main thing is just get your get your glue down. Make sure you have enough glue. Honestly, more glue is probably better than less. Okay, I'm going to take my painting aside again. And that piece of paper we cut out, we are going to take our quite damp cloth and we are going to wet it down. Okay. Oops. Not too wet, like you don't want to soak it. You just want to get it nice and damp. Okay, get rid of that cloth. <coughs> ha! You can tell I'm working in my kitchen, can't you? Okay. I don't want my painting getting wet and I did get a little bit um, too much water on my cloth. so. Clean that up, put our painting back down, and then with the wet side up, dry side down, we're going to place it on the painting and just give it a little pat down, pushing it towards the outer edges. Now, pretty wet at this point so you got to be a little bit gentle you don't want to rip the paper but you do want where you spread the glue um, to adhere with your paper so just keep giving it a little tamp down like I said you know around the hardware there's always that weird little lump but don't sweat over it you know what if it if it loosens up after we can always go after with a little bit more glue tuck some glue in there and you'll be fine now here's the fun part and I apologize for the noise we're going to take that hair dryer, we're going to put it on a hot setting, and we're going to dry the back of the paper. What will happen is the paper will shrink up. I don't know if any of you have ever done, um, class, put plastic on your windows to keep some of the cold out. This is the same, same kind of idea. So here we go. I'm going to use my hair dryer, and we'll talk again in a couple seconds.
we are about 98% uh, dry. You're going to notice that if you touch the back of it, it should be tight. The paper is now not soft. It's got a nice little bounce to it. That's exactly what you want. So now we have to clean off the edges. So we're going to take our X-Acto knife, nice and sharp. Make sure you guys have a nice sharp um, blade on it because you don't want to pull at the paper at this point. And you have your straight edge. So I can easily see where the edge of my uh, frame is. So what I want to do is, and again, if some people want to measure this, you can go right ahead. I don't, I like to eyeball it. Um, so what I'm going to do is just make sure that all of my lines are straight. You don't want to press too hard because you don't want to go right through into your frame. The whole point is just to use enough pressure to remove that extra piece of paper. A little bit of white glue there. Just, you know what, white glue, as you know, will dry clear. Don't sweat it. That side, I'm doing the short edges easier just because it's just a little bit easier for and again, I want to kind of mirror how I did the other side. I can see where my edge is. I noticed my top edge is just a little bit crooked, but that's because I'm I'm showing you guys how to do it. So of course it's gonna, you know, go a little off the rails. But anyway, okay, two more sides. Two more sides, two more sides. This side might be a little bit harder because like we were talking about, it does have the hardware on it. So it might take a little bit more finessing um, to get over and around that hardware. And of course, this piece, the longer ruler you can use, probably the better, guys. Okay, now so let's take that piece off. Hopefully I did it deep enough. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oops. I'm just going to eyeball that just for the sake of... Oops. See, that's what we're talking about. It's a little bit wet right there, a little bit soft. Okay. But... Okay. Press that down. And as, as the glue and the paper dries more, you're going to see those wrinkles go away. Let's do this last side. My goal is just to keep it generally straight. Cut that part off. Oh, it's a little bit wet there. Oops. See, of course, it's because I'm showing you how to do it. That's okay. That is a okay. You can always clean that up. You can clean it up. There's no pressure. Okay. Yeah, my paper was very wet in this corner. That's why it's doing that. It was wet with glue, actually, not with uh, with the paint with the uh, washcloth. Okay. So, keeping in mind when you do it. It's going to be nice and dry. That's going to be a bit more dry. It's going to be nice and tight like a banjo. And then all I'm going to do after is I'm going to make sure I check to see which is the top side of my painting. Ta-da. I'm going to reinstall my hardware where I had uh, removed it earlier. I'm going to uh, sign the back on the paper. If I don't know if you happen to notice at the very beginning. I did sign the inside of the painting, named it. Um, but I'm going to do that on the paper and I always like to attach one of my business cards uh, somewhere in the corner. So then, yeah, we're going to have our mounting uh, hardware back on there and it is ready for sale. It's a completely finished piece. Thanks for watching.